My name is Captain James Tiberius Kirk of the United Federation of Planets. I'm appearing before you as a neutral representative of the Fabonan Republic. I bring you a message of goodwill and present to you, esteemed members of the Tanaxi delegation, a gift from the Fabonan High Council with the highest regard. What's wrong with it? Excuse me? Why well, don't they want it anymore? Uh, well, this was once a piece of an ancient weapon, and now they offer it as a symbol of, of peace. In the Fabonan culture, to surrender a weapon is an offer of truth. How did they come by it? They told me they acquired it a long time ago. So they stole it then? No. They, um, well. You don't know the Fabonans like we do. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Your Excellency, this gift. They're is a crowd of untrustworthy thieves who want to see us murdered in our own beds. This beloved artifact is a symbol of trust and peace. They want to chop us into pieces and roast us over no, a fire. I don't think that's true. And eat us. What? Captain, did you manage to broker a treaty with the Tenexi? Uh, let's just say it came up short. Would you uh, lo log that and put it in the vault spot? Thank you. Jim, you look like crap. Thank you, Bones. You got that little vein popping out of your temple again. You OK? Never better. Just another day in the fleet. Captain's log, stardate 2263.2. Today is our 966th day in deep space, a little under three years into our five-year mission. The more time we spend out here, the harder it is to tell where one day ends and the next one begins. It can be a challenge to feel grounded when even gravity is artificial. But while well, we do what we can to make it feel like home, The crew, as always, continues to act admirably despite the rigors of our extended stay here in outer space and the personal sacrifices they have made. We continue to search for new life forms in order to establish firm diplomatic ties. Our extended time in uncharted territory has stretched the ship's mechanical capacities, but fortunately, our engineering department, led by Mr. Scott, is more than up to the job. The ship aside, Prolonged cohabitation has definitely had effects on interpersonal dynamics. Some experiences for better, and some for the worse. As for me, things have started to feel a little episodic. The farther out we go, the more I find myself wondering what it is we're trying to accomplish. If the universe is truly endless, then are we not striving for something forever out of reach? The Enterprise is scheduled for a reprovisioning stop at Yorktown, the Federation's newest, most advanced starbase. Perhaps a break from routine will offer up some respite from the mysteries of the unknown. Sorry I'm late. Keenzer's leaking some kind of highly acidic green goo, and Scotty's terrified he's gonna sneeze on the warp core and kill us all. <laughs> the 
hell are you drinking? Uh, pretty sure it's the rest of that Saurian brandy we picked up on Thesis. My God, man, are you trying to go blind? That stuff's illegal. Besides, I found this in Chekhov's locker. Wow. Right? I mean, I always assumed he'd be a vodka, a vodka guy. Exactly. I wanted to have something appropriate for your birthday. Ah, it's in a couple days. You know I don't care about that. I know. I know you don't like celebrating it on the day, because it's also the day your paw bit the dust. I was being sensitive. Did they teach you about bedside manner in medical school? It's just your southern charm. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's good. Lordy. <laughs> Are you gonna call your mom? Yeah, of course I'll call her the day. When you're older. Yeah, that's usually how it works. A year older than he ever got to be. He joined Starfleet because he, he believed in it. I joined on a dare. You joined to see if you could live up to him. Uh, you spent all this time trying to be George Kirk. And now you're wondering just what it means to be Jim Why you're out here. To perfect eyesight and a full head of hair. Kirk here. Captain, approaching Yorktown base. I'm on my way, Mr. Sulu. Let's keep this birthday thing under wraps, huh? Yeah, you know me, Mr. Sensitive. Wow, that is impressive. Aye, she's a beauty, isn't she? What a damn monstrosity. Couldn't we just rent some space on a planet? Showing geographical favoritism among inducted Federation worlds could cause diplomatic tension. Oh, you don't think that looks tense? Looks like a damn snow globe in space just waiting to break. Oh, that's the spirit bones.